It's Christmas morning and I'm all alone Singing the old Christmas song I used to sing when my kids were young On those old Christmas mornings And down the stairs they'd come at the run That he was Santa here Did he drink his milk or his cookies gone? Did you see his reindeer? Those Christmas mornings when my kids were young Was so special to me Those Christmas mornings and those Christmas songs Bittersweet memories Well hello everybody and welcome to session 10 of the Songwriter Sessions uh, interview series. I'm your host Barry Chauvin and I'm here at Digital Production Saka. No, let me get that straight now, because Pershing's gonna fuss me. Digital Sakale Production Studios in Homer, Louisiana, with Pershing Wells. Um, our guest artist today is Mr. Joe Sims. Welcome, Joe. Well, thanks for having me here. All right, man. So on, on the on the right here, Joe and I were talking in the car, and and we got to know each other a little bit. And the question always comes up about. Um, when did you start writing and how did you get into writing? And uh, Joe, you were telling me you kind of started later in life. Yeah, I'm a late bloomer. Um, it was I've been playing music professionally since I was 18, which was um, a long time ago. <laughs> I'm 40, right. 42 now. Uh, in the New Orleans scene, huh? Yeah, in yeah. the New Orleans area, North Shore, South Shore, a little bit right. all over, uh, but mostly in cover bands my, my whole career. I've, I've, I think I told you I wrote a few instrumental and a right. few other songs right. here and there, but... I, it was always a self-confidence issue. Most right. of the time I would uh, crumble them up and throw them in the trash. <laughs> but whenever I turned 40, I think it was a combination of things. I sure. think it was uh, some life events. My daughter was born six years ago. My dad passed away right. a few years ago. Me, had sure. a, had a, some other health issues that came up. Right. Um, and then on top of that, I wound up getting a, 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 a space to actually do it in. We've got a fifth bedroom in the house. That's every songwriter's um, dream now is to have a fifth, an extra bedroom. It is. Right. And every every songwriter should be lucky enough to, to have a wife that lets them have a, oh, a yeah. music, <laughs> music room. So, so thanks, Sherry. Yeah. Um, you know, but I think it was a combination of those things that I had the space to do it. And, and probably about 40, I guess, I really started seriously writing and and a lot of them have kind of come out since then. That's cool, man. That, that is that is so good. Um, so, I, you know, I was thinking, how did you think your your professional music career before all those years of doing covers influenced your songwriting today? Greatly. So I, I, I spent a lot of years uh, playing in a, in a three-piece band. Uh, we still play here and there called the Huey Peas, which oh, is a yeah. nice little Louisiana name. Yeah. But we, we played on Bourbon Street for years, right, you know, multiple right. nights. And on, on Bourbon, you kind of have to play to the crowd, oh, yeah, you know, so you, you have to you know learn. a good variety exactly. of music um, to, to do that. Yeah. So I think song structure, it, it teaches you a lot about that. Right. It teaches you a lot about melodies and hooks and how long a song should be. Right, and, and right. What keeps people's attention. Exactly, exactly. So I, I do think that playing in, in, in a cover band for so long really influenced um my songwriting and in just being able to know what a what a good song is. Did did it help you to uh, get a tough skin to yes to deal with crowds because you know not everybody's gonna love all your material. It's not just dealing with a crowd; it's dealing with no crowd at all. There, oh, there are nights, I have many a night. <laughs> there are nights there that. where it's just the bartender. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you got to do the whole show. Absolutely, exactly. Yeah. I I have been there, done that. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so. How 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 much are you writing now? Like how many songs a year you think you put out, or uh, and is it kind of steady for you where they come pretty evenly, or you go through periods of drought? I go through periods of drought. Sometimes yeah. it's weeks, sometimes it's a, f a few months. But I, I I would say I've probably written twenty five to thirty songs over the last of over twenty eighteen. Oh, great. That's that's a that's good production. Not that's all of them are good. I'm oh, you never know. <laughs> One day I'm going to do a show, and uh, uh, we're going to do it on all the songs that we, we have hidden away. That, uh, right. And we're just going to bring out in the light of day, and let's see what, what happens. But even even the bad ones serve a purpose, yeah. right? Uh, well, yeah. It built your way right. to... Um, I heard the song when you were practicing what you're going to play today, and that, 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 I like that song. So you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, that was actually one of the first, uh, I'd say, in the first five songs I've ever written. Um, 
but like I said, we, we played on Bourbon Street for, for a while uh, and played around the city in, in right. many great venues. Uh, it, you know, the city, that New Orleans has a character unlike any other city, yeah. I think, that, that I've ever been to, which I haven't been completely across the world. But um, So it's it's just something that kind of gets inside of you, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, we, we were actually playing on Bourbon Street right before Hurricane Katrina. Ooh. And, of course, the, the French Quarter didn't flood, so... It was one of the things, first things that reopened, um, and they called us to come back and play because there was a pretty good crowd of oh, people, yeah. you yeah. know, working out there. Um, so it was it was the strangest thing driving from Slidell yeah. across so all that. across Highway 11 because the the twin span was was damaged or gone. Yeah. Uh, but and then driving into the city just at pitch black, Eerie. not a light on yeah. anywhere, and then you get to uh, the oasis of the French Quarter, and the right. lights are on, and, right. and you're there, but it was it was an interesting time, but yeah. uh, just always had a, a big love for the city, and then I had a, as we were talking earlier, sometimes a hook or a line gets in your head, right? and I had this line of, I'd rather be down on Bourbon Street, probably stuck in my head for, I don't know, a few months, and right. I had the chords, and pretty much the whole song except for all of the rest of the words <laughs> and then one morning um uh, it, they it just all all came out okay it was just one of those where it just all it's it's sitting there somewhere it and was it, brewing it, right every bit of it came out at once right right yeah sometimes you have to let a song cook a while mm-hmm. and let it let it brew right all right well um let's hear that one man oh. you got it okay sounds good Sitting on this beach Drinking my hand Seashells and sunsets Feet covered in sand I'm not complaining But there's some place I'd rather be Back where the music and the people are like me I'd rather be on Decatur Street Right where the river sings her song Café au lait And a plate of hot beignets Just another day in New Orleans The people are nice In Memphis, Tennessee Getting blues and walking down Beale Street. But give me a poor boy and a cup of gumbo, and I'll be in heaven. There's nowhere I'd rather go. I'd rather be down on Frenchman Street, walking through the Faubourg Marigny. trumpet man really fire up the band just another day in New This country from Maine to LA, Boston and New York to the Carolina Bay. There's so many places that I'd like to see, but that Crescent City has a way of calling me. I'd rather be down on Bourbon Street. Watching some band play rock and roll When I hear sweet home I can't help but sing along Just another day in New Orleans Just another day in New
Joe, that's a cool song, man. I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, from obviously with my accent, I'm from South Louisiana, and and you captured the city, man. That 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 is the heart and soul. Thank it's you very all much. All in that I, song, man. That's that's very cool. Means a lot to me. There's yeah. nothing nothing better than somebody else connecting with something right. you wrote. Right. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for coming on the show, man. I, I appreciate it. My right. pleasure. Okay. Um, and thank everybody out there for tuning in and. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And when you do that, you're going to see that little bell icon and click on that too. You're going to get notified of the next shows. So, um, can I add? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot, forgot to tell you. You can yeah. put. You put, can find me. At, it's, it's Joe Sims Music, J O E S I M S Music.com. Uh, the same thing on Facebook. So it's Facebook.com slash Joe Sims Music. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Um, all right. I love that song. Let's hear a little bit more. Got it. Traveled this country from Maine to LA, Boston and New York to the Carolina Bay. There's so many places that I'd like to see, but that Crescent City has a way of calling me. I'd rather be down on Bourbon Street Watching some band play rock and roll When I hear sweet home I can't help but sing along Just another day in New Orleans Just another